I, obviously, we've got a lot of uh, of system integrators partners uh, on this call here. They could tell by the way that these questions are coming over. So let's dive in uh, for a little while on that. As a partner, uh, what market segments should they be focusing on? Is it enterprise, education? You know, let's let's expand on that a little bit because I think we're talking about now uh, a blend of kind of the traditional outdoor Wi-Fi partners and then the traditional VAR community um, having the ability to sell, you know, kind of get into each other's ways now. Yep, you, you're right about that, Chris. This is the intersection of those two different markets and two different types of uh, types of experience levels. So, you know, I encourage people to look at their own, look in their own, their own life and their own community. Look around you in your own business and you will, you will see the opportunities. You can find this um, uh, in, if you, if you have a lot of government contract type of business, uh, you might find that the municipal urban networks or government funded projects around education uh, would be something that you could use this for in right in your own market without without having to uh, stretch beyond uh, what your what your your comfort level is uh, transportation logistics that that's scattered everywhere uh, transportation hubs are located outside of every city just all in, in every every corner you can possibly look they're, they're all over the place uh, trans so transportation ports facilities Mission critical applications. So just look in your own in your own uh, business. If you are if you're focused on indoor enterprise Wi-Fi, just look outside the building, look outside the window, and connect up buildings together in a business park. And it's an opportunity to do that as well. So Alan, can you uh, take that a, a little bit further, um, specifically about the VAR that just sells Wi-Fi? Sure. I mean, um, so two, actually three months ago, we announced it a uh, Wi-Fi six. And uh, when you see the Wi-Fi technology moving, now the, the AP already gave you a gigabit capacity on the Wi-Fi spot. And when you have the Wi-Fi, AP can do gigabits. You don't want your backhaul become a bottleneck for your service. So when you need a gigabit backhaul, you know, ideally we want a fiber, but unlikely fiber will be everywhere. So you really need a solution to connect from the fiber location to your Wi-Fi solution. And 60 gigabits is a good fit there because we not only we provide gigabits capacity, but also because of the mesh we have, it's we do the load balancing and it's a distribution distributed backhaul layer connect your Wi-Fi to your fiber, uh, fiber location. And this really, you know, remove the bottleneck to give you the two gigabits experience to end user. So Chris, what are you seeing from your research? Well, uh, you know, I, I just echo what Alan and Darren said. If, if, um, if you're uh, involved with installing Wi-Fi and Ethernet, um, you know, 60 gigahertz can uh, do, just as Darren said, connect buildings together that where you might have otherwise had to install, you know, fiber optics. And then if you're in the business of getting a, an Internet service to customers, uh, um, you know, or historically you've used mid-band uh, this 60 gig technology is able to uh, serve customers in much denser areas at very high bandwidth. So um, I don't think I can add more other than to just to, to say to say that those are the two opportunities that I see.